So let us now look at the next example, example number 6. It says if secant theta plus tan theta equals to root 3, where theta lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, then tan 3 theta equals to what? We have got 4 answer options here, undefined, 1 by root 3, infinity and root 3. So like in our earlier example, we have to solve this equation, find out what is the value of theta and then substitute theta in this expression here to find out what tan 3 theta is. And we very well know that such questions can be answered in two different ways or we can say that at least there is another way in which we can try to answer such questions other than the regular method. Right? In the regular method, in the traditional method, what do we do? Just try to solve this equation here and find what theta is. What is the smart way of getting the answer, the other way of getting the answer? Try with some random values of theta, right? Generally try with theta equals to 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees or 90 degrees. The values that we uh, know the trigonometric ratios for, right? So try with those values and quickly check if it is balancing to root 3, right? By any chance, if we find out what theta is directly by random substitution, we can solve this question without the regular method, right? So let's let's try the smart way this time, right? We have already solved the earlier question in a regular method. So let's try with the smart method that is random substitution of theta to see if we can find out what theta is. Let's let's start with 0 degrees, right? Let's say theta equals to 0 degrees. What happens? Secant 0. Secant 0 equals to 1. Secant 0 is 1. Tan 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1 but we have root 3 here so 0 is not possible right this way we just need to quickly verify for the remaining values as well let's try with 30 secant 30 what is secant 30 degrees 2 by root 3 and tan 30 1 by root 3 so 2 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 is 3 by root 3 3 by root 3 is root 3 so i am able to decide that theta equals to root, uh, 30 degrees right we are able to come to a conclusion that theta equals to root 3 just by the substitution of uh, the value there right so we can now simply say theta is 30 so tan into 3 theta tan 3 theta tan of 3 into 30 which is tan 90 what is tan 90 degrees undefined so we can say that the answer here is option a undefined so as you have seen here a very neat procedure right we need not put pen on paper quickly verify with different values of theta and then mark the answer there but let me also mention that this may not be possible in all the questions, right? Sometimes it may really get complex and we'll have to follow the regular method to arrive at the required answer. However, let us also discuss uh, the regular way of answering this question. So what do we do? Let me just quickly explain the smart method once again. We are just trying with random values of theta. So I'll say theta is 30. What happens? Secant 30 degrees plus tan 30 degrees. Secant 30 is 2 by root 3, tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So we have 2 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 which is 3 by root 3 which is equal to root 3. Right? Balance. So we can now come to a conclusion that theta is 30 degrees. If theta is 30, what is tan 3 theta? Tan 3 theta is tan of 3 into 30 degrees which is tan 90 degrees. Tan 90 degrees we all know is undefined right 1 upon 0 undefined so answer has to be option a let me remind you or let me make it clear that do not mark the answer as option c infinity i've seen some students marking tan 90 as infinity which is wrong tan 90 is not defined so option a would be the correct answer and now let's see the regular way of solving the question how would we get the answer without doing this substitution method we know an uh, trigonometric identity secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1 yes or we can say secant square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta from which we get this equation here secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1 and this is in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square can be taken as a plus b into a minus b so let's expand this we get secant theta plus tan theta that is a plus b into a minus b secant theta minus tan theta equals to 1 we already know what is secant theta plus tan theta from the given question right root 3 so let's substitute root 3 here what do we get root 3 of secant theta minus tan theta equals to 1 so we can say that secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 right this root 3 comes in the denominator here now we have got two equations with two different trigonometric ratios secant theta plus tan theta equals to root 3 secant theta minus tan theta equals to 1 by root 3 let's solve these two equations so let me take the other one here secant theta plus 
tan theta equals to root 3. Let us add both the equations here. What do we get? Secant theta plus secant theta is 2 secant theta. This minus tan theta and plus tan theta gets cancelled. And this will be equal to 1 by root 3 plus root 3. So what do we get? 1 by root 3 plus root 3. Root 3 is the LCM here. So root 3 is the LCM. Now root 3 into root 3 is 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 by root 3. So 2 secant theta is 4 by root 3 which means secant theta is 2 by root 3. If secant theta is 2 by root 3, we can conclude that theta is 30 degrees, right? We know that for 30 degrees, secant theta would be 2 by root 3. If theta is 30, tan 3 theta. Tan 3 theta is tan 90. Tan 90 undefined. So this is how we can answer it using the regular traditional method, right? Or just substitute and arrive at the answer in a smart way. But be careful, it may not be possible in all the questions.